Okay guys, so here we go. We got a 68 Cuda here. Um, the owner is actually doing a really nice one at home for his wife that he's, uh, that he's building and he had a whole bunch of leftover parts and pieces and uh, he wants to just take the leftover parts and pieces and, and, and quickly put this car together. Nothing too, too carried away, nothing too fancy. So he brought it in for us to do a little paint and bodywork on it. So we're not doing like a full frame or nothing like that. We're not dealing with the engine tranny or underneath carriage. And what we are doing is going to straighten the body out and do some rust repair. So as typical, here we go. You know, there we go. We got some rust happening here. A little bit of filler going on. You know, I mean that, you know, right there, that amount of filler really isn't all that bad. If you remember in my previous video, you saw the car McGee. Now that's body filler. So anyway, it looks like we need some rear quarter panel pieces. We need some rocker panels. Um, that's pretty solid there. Floors are good in this car. Um, door obviously has got some rust there. You know, then we got to straighten the body out. I think the owner wants to go like a, a blue, like a factory blue or a green. Come around to this side, you can see I've been grinding away. We're just kind of grinding, seeing what we're getting into. We're going to pull the fenders off. Um, door's got a hole there. Again, rocker panel, quarter panel. So, this owner actually will be selling this car, so it will be coming up for sale. Um, and when we're done with it, I, well, I don't know, like when we're right done with it, he's got to take it home and put all his interior back in it. But it looks like it's got, if you see the paint job on it now, it's kind of a weird flip-flop. If you see it kind of looks purple, then it looks blue. It's one of those kind of funky paint jobs, if you're into that, from back in the day, I guess. But yeah, so, that's our little project there that's going on here at Old Time Garage. And then of course we've got the, the pizza truck sitting right here that we're dismantling again. So many times, together and then apart, then together and then apart. Right now we're just waiting on a heater AC unit so we can figure out what holes that we need to weld up in the firewall and which ones we need to maybe drill out. Then we'll take it apart and we'll start painting the cab off the, uh, off the frame. Start getting stuff together on that. So that's what's going on with the pizza truck. So we got a full house here. Full house is going on. And of course, you know, in the background, you see the, you see the top line of the Carmagia. These are some seats the owner brought us out of a newer vehicle. I'm not sure exactly what they're from. He got them off a guy that had them. Um, they're quite comfortable. So if you're into that, I'm, I'm a bench seat fan. I like to just leave stock seats and reupholster it. But whatever, to each their own. So there we go there. Tilt aftermarket column. It's looking good. So that's it. So hey, remember, it's always a good time at old time. I want to thank you all for watching, subscribing, checking us out. Facebook, you can see us. You can also see us on Rick's underscore old time garage. And fall is coming. We will be having a couple new t-shirts coming out, guys. So get ready. Christmas is near. Okay, see you later.